Hi, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn on the washing machine, um, all the different little features it has, and just like how it works, I guess. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to talk to you guys about um, some of the settings that it has, like the air dry setting. I'm gonna talk to you guys about what that does, and I will talk about why I chose this washing machine over other portable washing machines. Okay, so this is the washing machine. It's the Panda Pan 56 MGW2. Um, so I guess I'll start by showing you the inside. Um, this is just the hose that goes to. Just have it sitting in there because there's a little bit of water in it still. Um, so that's what the inside looks like. Um, this is what catches the lint. All you have to do is push down on the top a little bit and it just pops right out. Oh, I have lint in there. Um, and you just, I guess I'll show you guys. All you have to do is, sorry, it's hard to do one handed. Just open it up and see I have quite a bit of lint in there. Just put it back in. And then this is for the fabric softener. And then this, I actually don't know what that is. Um, it doesn't say in the little booklet that comes with the washing machine what this is. I'm assuming it's for liquid soap, but I'm not positive. And these are all of the wash settings that it has. And this shows the water level. And this um, shows what cycle it's on. And like the letters right here will show up right here. Okay, and then the lid... It just folds in half, and then it just comes down. Um, so this washing machine is a pretty good size. Um, it's not too small, but it's also not too big. It's just a little bit smaller than my dishwasher. Sure. Easy to move to. There are handles on the sides. There's one right here, and then there's another one on the other side. Okay, so this is what connects to your sink. Um, this is what the end looks like. All you have to do is push it down and put it up in the little connector thing that it comes with and this is what it comes with um, the one thing I recommend is looking at your sinks before you buy this because I planned on using this in my bathroom but this part of my bathroom sink does not come off so I can't use this washing machine in my bathroom like I wanted to so now I can only use it in my kitchen which sort of sucks a little bit. Okay, there we go. And then just make sure you have this on tight enough because if you don't, water will spray out of the top of it. Okay. And then you, to connect it, you just push this down and then put it on there. And now it's on. And then this right here is where the water drains out of. Um, you just set it in the sink. Now, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like this hose. I wish it was a little bit longer, um, just because it's really hard to, uh, it's really hard to get it to stay in place. Like, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's kind of awkward. But, you just kind of have to, like, use this thing and, like, put it on here, and usually it stays pretty well. Okay, and then the um, plug-in is just in the back. There's like a little hook thing right here for it to hang on. The plug is actually pretty long, which is nice. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to turn it on and how it sounds when it's washing the clothes. So I have my laundry in here. Um, I have three towels, two t-shirts, and a couple of wash rags in here. And I could still fit more. I just don't like doing too big of loads. Just because I'm scared it's going to end up like going over. And like leaking everywhere. So I don't do huge loads. Okay, so I'll show you how to turn on. You have to make sure you turn on the water first. Um, and you just leave the water on the whole time. Because when it does the rinse cycle, it'll keep adding water and then um, draining the water and adding it. It does it a few times. 
Okay, so we do just turn it on. And then this is the water level. So there it is right here. Um, and to change the water level, you just push this button again. I am gonna, I'm gonna put it up to six. And then to choose what um, setting, or what wash setting you're gonna use, you just push this. So to change it, you just keep pushing this. So I'm just gonna do a quick wash for these. And then to start it, you just push start. It does look like I need to add a little bit more water though, so that's what I'm So I'll show you guys how to do it. So first you pause it, and you go to this, and then you go to whatever water level you want it to be at, which I'm pretty sure I put it at four or six, so I don't know why it's so low. And then you start it. Okay, so this is how it looks now when I added more water. It definitely looks a lot better. <laughs> So the reason I chose this washing machine is because it it was the most, it was the only washing machine that was like the most similar to a regular washing machine. So, you know, it has just all the regular settings like normal, heavy duty, like all of that, which I thought was nice. And the other washing machines don't. I feel like the ones that I've looked at on Amazon, they all just have like a little tiny, like a little dial on them for like time. And like that's it. And then they have a switch where you can turn it from like spin to wash. Um, and I just felt like it was easier to get one where all I have to do is turn it on and I don't have to go back and do anything with it until it's time to dry them. Um, where the other ones you have to like move them to the other side of the washing machine, like the spin side. And then the spin side is also a lot smaller than the wash side. So you have to do like a few different little like cycles in the spin side to get all of the clothes that you just washed, like all mostly dry. So the air dry setting um, doesn't actually dry clothes. So what that does is it spins your clothes for an hour. So it does get them almost dry. The only thing I've tried the air dry setting on were my cloth diapers. And it got my pocket diapers pretty dry. Like the only part that was a little damp was where the elastics are in the back of the diapers. And the rest of like the diaper was dry. Um, my pre-folds were still pretty damp, but they were, they weren't too damp though. Like they were pretty close to being dry where I would just like have to throw them in the dryer for a second or I could just dry them overnight by hanging them. Like they were almost there. And my covers actually weren't dry at all. Like they were pretty damp still too. One thing I feel like I should mention is the washing machine does have a weird smell when you first use it. So I think the first like, three or four times that I used it, it had a pretty strong, like, I don't know if it was like a rubbery chemical kind of smell. It was weird. But after like the fourth wash, it went away. So it doesn't stink anymore. So I don't know what that was about or why it smells, but it does. The only thing about the washing machine that I do not like is the hose, like the drain hose. 
Today, actually, the hose fell out of the sink while I was using it and got water everywhere. Like, it was bad. It got under my fridge. It, yeah, it was terrible. Like, it was a lot of water. So I think that's the only downside to this um, washer is just that. But other than that, everything else is great about it. Also, I think one thing you guys should know is they do test out their washing machines before they send them. I think it's like 10% of the washers they send out, they've tested. So if you get a washer that is wet, that means they just tested it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video.